All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for some more Cowboy Bebop. Last time we watched episodes five and six. Today we're watching episodes seven and eight. Last time uh, we faced quite the, uh, how should I say, outlandish, maybe that's the right word, outlandish. Um, so one of the more, I guess, uh, more impossible to believe scenarios within this series. And you know, this series does have some very, uh, it is a space cowboy adventure, so it's fiction to say the uh, say the least, science fiction. But last episode definitely stretched the uh, boundaries of what I was expecting from this uh, series here. Little uh, Mr. Cowboy Bebop, um, our boy Spike faced up against this kid. Um, I wouldn't even say I understood the full length of what was going on. It was just a whole bunch. Uh, the exposition was very quick. It was like bop, 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 bop. But, um, you know, this kid who apparently gained some sort of immortality, uh, never aged, um, was concocting some sort of uh, scheme to... It was, it was so convoluted, but it fit. It worked well. Um, he looked exactly... I remember he looked exactly like the uh, uh, Pride from Full Metal Alchemist. Um, and these, these these kids, man, you, you can make a whole horror movie franchise of these kids. They're, they're, they can be so creepy. It is it, it was well done, I have to say. You definitely got the creep factor going. Um, and that whole ending bit, um, the way all of it wrapped up was really dope, too. But uh, we're here to get back into some more Cowboy Bebop. Bebop get back into our space cowboy adventure along with Spike, Jet, and Faye. And our little Corgi Ein, who's ready? I know I'm ready. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, episode seven. Here we go. All right. I'm watching this through my speakers, so hopefully YouTube doesn't snipe me. <laughs> YouTube loves sniping me, but we'll uh, we'll we'll see it. We'll see what happens. I think you guys are probably here too over here on YouTube. Um, hopefully, it won't be too bad though. A lot of people wonder why I talk do during the reaction. So, so, so I don't get hit, man. I don't want to get hit by some shit, bro. <laughs> this is some okay, okay. Save my time, music. But you know what? It is different. It's different for the series. Where are we at right now? Oh, is in our rocket ship. Oh shit! <laughs> what was that? I always respect this animation so much. All right, this was... When was this made, bro? I need to figure it out. I need to find out when this was made, because this is crazy. Heavy Metal Queen. Okay, that makes sense. Session 7. I keep calling them episodes. They're sessions. <laughs> They're sessions, not episodes. Is that, a... is that a cat? Cat just floating around. Casually hanging upside down. All right. <laughs> Venus. Oh, gee, he got stacks. He, he got bands, bro. Jesus. Oh. So he's trying to bet on what his name was? What was it BT? Max Dinner. Oh, Max Diner. I'm so bad at reading. I'm so <laughs> I said Max Dinner. <laughs> Yo, zero gravity must be so convenient. He had a tattoo right on his head. <laughs>
<laughs> Muscle boys. <laughs> Oh, Jill. Oh, here we go. He's our boy. Jesus. My man hasn't slept in weeks, bro. Jesus. Where is she at? I mean, Chuck E. Cheese? Oh, is that a, ta a dragon tattoo right there? Bro. Well, this is not your... <laughs> Why are you hanging out here, bro? Nothing but kids here. He said you want some action. <laughs> oh, she played him well. She played him. That was the smoothest shit I ever seen her do, bro. <laughs> God. Oh, bro. Spike, we need we need we need some ass kickery right here. We need a bit of ass kickery. Get this. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Chase after a woman's butt. I. <laughs> what a tagline. Oh, it's it's this guy then. <laughs> Oh, I thought she noticed it was him. No, she had to. She had to not notice. She's oh, she didn't. <laughs> Bro, she just ripped his shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> this was <fool's> blushing. <laughs> All right, so BT's got some moves over here. What is Spike doing? <laughs> oh, he making himself a drink. <laughs> he does not care. He is not. Oh, he's building. <laughs> oh, he mad. He was craving that. He's like, bro. The yolk? That's the best part. <laughs> Yo, dare bring a knife to a fist fight? My god. Better have insurance. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Y'all are trash. You and your ponchos. Get out of here. There you go, Spike. Good shit. <laughs> Just came with the glass bottle. Oh, well, they're, getting, they're getting some good licks in. Jesus. Damn, she really flew after him. Oh, that better not be a bomb. That is a bomb. <laughs> that was a big one. I dare you. Yeah, <laughs> just turn back. Oh, that's a pretty tight drawing right there. <laughs> Is she mad? Yep. Wow. Your voice does not fit your <laughs> That voice does not fit at all. You sound like... Uh, 60 year old pawn shop clerk or some shit. <laughs> oh boy, Jet. Jet's my favorite. Hey man, you gotta teach me how to make that. <laughs> I think you had to make that one right there. What was that he put in? Oh, 
What? He was just about to bet. What was it, BT or VT? The Something Brothers? Alright. Absolutely useless. <laughs> I just told you right now. <laughs> Yeah, VT, okay. What's the cat's name? Veros? It's probably her name, too. <laughs> Who fay? <laughs> yeah, Urgia got messed up too. Oh my god, what is this music so loud? It is soothing. Very soothing. I can get a lot of thinking done under some heavy metal. <laughs> Just jam out to that, do some homework, it's good. That's you, Jet. You handle it. That's pretty that's pretty detailed, man. Is it Zeros or Veros? Jesus, what is, what are these decorations? <laughs> These truckers in their <laughs> little truck designs up in here and their decorations. Very, very unique to say the least. <laughs> you can tell exactly who each one was. I feel like you get st stuff lost pretty easily in uh, 
zero gravity, just everything floating around like that. <laughs> Oh. It's over, mister... What are we gonna call him? Dude with the dragon tattoo? Not the girl in the dragon tattoo, the dude in the dragon tattoo. <laughs> this music, man. I love the music. I stay listening to that. Cowboy Bebop soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, he just threw a little vial and blew up her whole ship. How much was it? Twelve mil. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a handsome amount. I, I'd fight for that too. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this man Jet is so salty at these kids, bro. Always messing up his ships. Like, bro, I ain't trying to fix every damn thing y'all break. <laughs> I wish her mouth was broken. Oh my God, is it even safe to carry that much? It's in glass bot, like little glass vials. Like, I think it explodes so easily in your pocket. Literally. Spike, just shoot his pocket. <laughs> you better watch out. Was it timed? It didn't even, did it touch anything? I think it just blew up on its own. Bro, you got like 10 of them. Just throw them all. <laughs> This dude's trash, bro. <laughs> this dude's some hot trash. Oh! Oh, is she? Oh, they went through it. Okay. Oh, no, that's that's uh, Spike and Faye. Hey, man. You gotta play some risks if you want some money. Yeah, you just crashed. Both of them crashed. Oh, God! <laughs> And you see a whole ass dead body. There goes my 12 minutes. <laughs> Holy. You're lucky. Y'all are dead. My God. Just all filled with explosive material? Hey, man. <laughs> Run the other way. This is... <laughs> This 12 mil ain't worth it. It's already gone at this point. <laughs> Just run. Are they towing her? That's nice of them. Y'all got any nitrous on that ship? Y'all any speed boosters? Oh, God. <laughs> it's gonna blow yourself out. He's <laughs> playing music. Oh, God.
Look, Faye, if you can do this, I'll stop being so annoyed by you. <laughs> you got you got AirPods. <laughs> you got some AirPods over here. This man just went into space without anything on. This dude, Spike, is an absolute maniac. No, Spike! Yeah, you're dying now. <laughs> you're, you're not surviving this. Oh, never mind. That works? <laughs> I always wondered if something like that would work. Fire a gun in space so that you can like sort of propel yourself. Nice tight. Okay. Hey man, teamwork makes the dream work. There it is. Teamwork makes the dream work. But now, how do you get out? Because wasn't <laughs> wasn't VT ship busted too? I don't know, got out, all right. Yeah, there's, there's this whole bounty hunter thing working for you, bro. <laughs> Been losing out on millions every episode. I still can't. Is it Vero's or Zero's? It sounds like Zero's. Just earned himself a fat stat. Oh, he just uh, okay. See you later, space cowboy. See you later. All right. Well, that was uh, it wasn't a bad episode. I don't think it, it, it wasn't my favorite. Um, a little slower than most. And um, I like VT. She was cool. Uh, I thought she was a dude at first. <laughs> she can't play me. The way the, the way they drew her, it was kind of weird. Let me look at it again. Let me look at it again. Now that I li listen to the voice, that's why I thought the voice was weird because I thought I thought I thought she was a dude <laughs> the way she was drawn, and I was like, this voice sounds weird for a guy, but no, it's it's a female. Now that I look at it again. Yeah, that, it, it could it could go both ways. That, that, that could go both ways. Come on. No, no. <laughs> I could go both ways for sure, but uh, yeah, that makes sense now. It, it, it fits, it fits, and um, oh, she's a badass too. <laughs> I need to rewatch this first bit now because it'll make more sense to me. Um, I could have sworn that was a dude. I swear, I swear. But again, it could go both ways. But um, that was a good episode. A little heavy metal queen over here. Um, another one of the one-off episodes that I'm not mad at. Um, I'm slowly starting to enjoy it. Uh, it's not really villain of the week. It's like, it's just like adventure of the week or adventure of the episode kind of thing. So, um, expanding the whole Cowboy Bebop universe, uh, little by little. And, um, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. So let us get into the next episode here. Episode eight. Let's go. You know, there's a part of me that's thinking about it. Um trying to like Faye's character she's she's witty in her her in her own way um and uh i guess you could say that she uh uses her uh sexuality in a very uh comedic manner i guess you could call it that um and i like that i, I love it when they're able to twist that 
um it, it's a it's an age-old stereotype or whatever but it's still funny to me just like chicks that are able to use their tits and ass to get get, get the upper hand on dudes or chicks that are into them so like <laughs> i like that she's able to do that um she seems to be sticking around a lot i part of me felt like she was gonna be gone in like two or three episodes but she's sticking around for a little bit um maybe it's a sort of like i'm just sticking with these guys until i can get my payday it's just not working out and um it's just gonna keep going like that uh but we'll see if, if they if they keep her on um i'm gonna try to like her i'm gonna try to like her right? i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna throw a dumpster fire on her just yet um she's, she's growing on me just a little bit character wise See what this one is about. Session eight. And I already like Spike and Jet. I already love him. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> it's like a flight over here. This is first class. They would only play Tom and Jerry on first class. <laughs> oh, here we go. What's going on? Everyone checking the washes. You know some shit. You know some shit. Here we go. I would pay top dollar to fly on. That was pretty tight. My God, why? Both hands behind your head, all of you. What is that hair? Was this guy? Oh, I thought it. <laughs> I'm like, what is with those eyes? Spike just so happens to be on this flight. Y'all, he went back to sleep. <laughs> I love Spike, bro. Come on. I love this man so much. <laughs> that was great. Oh, they're pulling like a reverse heist right now or something. Did they know this was going to happen? What the hell was that? Sleep powder? <laughs> you a Pokemon now, Faye? They took them out just like that, bro. That, <laughs> that was the smoothest shit I've ever seen, bro. Waltz for Venus. They were talking about Venus last episode, right? That's where VT came from. Oh, this is the guy on the flight. In the middle of the desert, I'm afraid I don't know. You know, your best life sucks. Oh, shit. <laughs> Make sure it gets there. Or else. Hey, wait! Huey, Louie, Dewey? Those are fake-ass names, bro. <laughs> Thanks for the payoff. Oh, he finally got one. Okay. Oh, God. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. This, this, those are not real names. That's all you're gonna get, Faye. I know. That's right. The positive is a zero again. A lot more fun than the bank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm starting to like. I want to be as smooth as Spike, bro. Spike is smooth as butter. He is smooth as WD-40, bro. I want to be as smooth as that. <laughs> You're not going to be my friend now that you just tried to stab me. Who are you? Kick him, Spike. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> He's going to have a posse now, bro. <laughs> He's going to have groupies. Okay. Now you're doing too much. Let's not lie. If this was, uh, we we do the same thing for Spike, right? I, I'd beg to be by his side, man. <laughs> I'd be like, teach me how to t eat cigarettes all day. Oh, he's he's determined. <laughs> Come on, 
<laughs> Yo, Spike is a whole mood, bro. Don't call me master. We didn't agree to nothing. Don't trust him. No. Oh, okay. He trusted him. Probably just drugged you. Oh, okay. Is that some real shit? I might look it up. Is that some real shit? Venus has a lot of helium. <laughs> Jet always is chilling with Ayn. I love it. So they had a bouncy on them. So yeah, Jet and or a Spike and Faye probably planned it. Okay. <laughs> Everyone has the same knife. Please don't accidentally stab yourself. So who taught Spike? I'm gonna get into Spike's master. <laughs> oh, he knows him. He knows him. Bro. Oh, he into some black market type stuff, bro. He into something dangerous. <laughs> Jet is just like the disapproving uncle. <laughs> he just hates her. Oh, he's a part of them. Oh. What was his name? Roko? Great Ash. Mm. Yeah, he was like, what have you been getting into already? We just got here. Okay, so he made off with some important shit with the gang. Now they're after him. Okay. Hey, you're a little smooth too, hiding in the sewer like that. I say you keep it, definitely. It's worth a lot more to me if you let me give your boards a chump change. Yeah, but who's who are you giving it to? Don't be a dick. This thing is hot. Too dangerous to hold on to. Someone has to die for the rich to be happy. I'll let you lose with that casino. <laughs> yeah, that's why you want to take a risk. <laughs> oh, they say that. <laughs> nah, it's a lady bounty. I'll believe whatever Spike says. It doesn't matter. Slowly but surely becoming a spike stan, I think. It's only episode eight too. <laughs> I'm slowly loving this man. He is incredible already. What is this? Is this an old ship? Always looking for that payday.
Jet was talking about. Watch out for some crazies. Where are these crazies at? There they are. <laughs> there they are. You ask and you shall, you shall receive. She looked like that chick from the first episode. The one that was fake pregnant. Did they ever show... Well, yeah, they did show her dying. She got blown up. Oh, is she blind? Okay. Who is she, Taroko? Oh, did have they caught him like that? Wrong place, wrong time. Jesus. God, that's fancy for a rundown ship. Uh. Yeah, that's true. Okay, little sister. So that's why he wants the money. Why well, you gotta humanize him and want to get some money, bro? <laughs> that's what Spike is saying. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you, so I'm gonna share my tea. <laughs> what is that? Well, Spike, I wish I'd known what that is, but your your backstory is very confusing, to say the least. Where are we at over here? Look at that. As soon as she walks in, she probably got all of them in the palm of her hand. Oh, oh my lord. Okay, I like Faye. I like Faye. <laughs> I like Faye. What can I say? It's probably a tough thing about finding something, trying to sell it, <laughs> trying to find someone to buy it. Just having straight up cash is probably the, uh, Best route. What was that saying that they always say with the Zanelli cash is king? This dude in his light colored yellow shirt. You do not fit in here. Oh my god, they're just jumping him. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Look at brutal. Oh, there you go. She just shoved it right. <laughs> He's like, that wasn't the only thing I shoved in my mouth tonight. 
god, she went straight for it. <laughs> Yo, Faye is not fooling around when it comes to the stacks, man. She wants that money. That was funny. I'll give her that. This fool gonna have a permanent mark on his forehead. Permanent mark on his forehead. Yep. Yeah, and I'm keeping it. <laughs> Oh, he's like, you know a lot more than you're letting on. He knows a lot more than you think, bro. Oh, God. Did they already find him? Say what you got, Spike. He's gonna shoot him. It's time for Headshot City. Time for Headshot City. Hey, Faye for the rescue. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, this is Faye's best episode, man. Come on. This is Faye's best episode. Let's be real. Jet out here too. The music, bro. The music. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use my training. Yup. <laughs> He's like, whoa. I can fight. <laughs> there he goes. As soon as he learned how to fight. That's a waste. Where was that? Was that in the chest? Yeah, he gone. Oh, and that shit's gone too. Bro. <laughs> nah, he gone. <laughs> you caught one body, bro. It's pretty fucked up. Probably. You're a funny guy. Gone too soon. That sucks. Rip Roko. He's a good guy. Good guy caught in a bad league. You know, shit like that ha uh, happens way too often. Trying to do something nice for his sister. Oh, she doesn't know he's dead yet? Mm-hmm. Damn. Oh, shit. She's about to read his face. Mm-hmm. Nah, 
He was trying to do something for you, girl. God, they really did that. Yo, if they gave this episode, like, and this storyline, like, flesh it out, gave it a whole movie. That would, that, that would get me in my feels, bro. <laughs> Imagine that was like the last kicker. Like after an hour and a half, two hours maybe. I never got to see him with my own eyes. Oh, God, that hurts, bro. Oh, that is so sad. That sucks. Yo, Rip Roko, he a real one, man. That's a, That's some real shit right there. Rest in paradise, homie. Damn. That was a sad episode. That's a, that was a depressing note to end on. My God, episode eight, Jesus. Yo, Rip Roko, that is unbelievably sad. I only known her for like two minutes and she already get me my feels. I never got to see him with my own eyes. God, how are you gonna do that to me? Gonna do that was oh, this is this is a really good episode. Last episode was my favorite. This episode probably one of my favorites for sure. As far as storytelling goes, this was really good. It was it was concise, very fast paced, but it got it got the job done. It, it conveyed the message that it wanted to do, and I like that. That was very good. Um, still had some really good action too. I wanted to rewatch this episode. I really like it. I really like this episode. God damn. I'm just thinking about it going back. This is only like a good 20 minutes, but I'm already like, geez, this is, this is a good. Like, this is one of my favorite moments from Spike already. Just this whole pretending to be asleep shit. <laughs> Yo, this is so funny, man. Like, this is a, this is a whole this is a whole gif. Me in class and <laughs> teacher wakes me up. I go right back to sleep. Yo, that is that, that's so good. Um, yeah, this is a great episode. And Faye had her some amazing moments, just little tidbits here and there. But she had some great moments in here too. Yo, episode eight, my favorite, hands down. This was good. This was good. I like this. I really like this episode. Yo, Roko, you a real one, man. Too pure for this world. I mean, then again, we don't know his whole life, but I mean, from what we know, yeah, he is. Um, this was a good episode. I enjoyed it greatly. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. Um, Cowboy Bebop, I love it. <laughs> it's only eight episodes in, but I'm starting really excited. This episode really did it for me. I really like. This is how, like, some it's like it's not even hit or miss. You know what I mean? Like most of the episodes hit. As well as just the last episode, I was like iffy on, but this one was really good. I really like this one. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed these episodes just as much as I did. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Can't wait to get into the next ones. Uh, we'll be watching episodes 9 and 10 tomorrow. So uh, look out for that. Anyways, that does it for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.